Life on the edge, I'm like living a high life I need that weed smoke with my mind right Put it in the head of my mind right I'm trying to get high high Give me a pound of that Zaza I think, I think it's time time to roll it up Now I'm bomb bomb I'm in the world, put that skull up in the air Skull up in the air, put that rust up in the air The song in the world, put that skull up in the air Skull up in the air, put that rust up in the air <laughs> Get high Podcast, man, where the big dogs talk. It's your humble, gracious host, King Kali. I'm here with my co host, Now Artistry. And we got a very special person to welcome to the fucking Big Wolf Podcast. Today. Oh, man, what's up? You probably know this nigga from South Philly. If you don't know him from South Philly, you probably know him because it's your baby mom's favorite barber. It's your favorite <laughs> rapper, favorite barber. You know what I'm saying? It's the hood leader's favorite barber. Real shit with the best prices. We got Fat Carl in the oh, building, man. man. What's up, man? Thank you for having fucking me. Rat. What's up with you? I can't call him, man. I'm having a good day, man. <laughs> Thanks for coming you look to the comfy. podcast. You look comfy. Hell yeah, I'm always comfy, Yeah, man. That's how you got to do it. You got to carry that shit in a comfy way. Facts, facts. So what's up, bro? Let's start off with your music. Before we get into the main event, which is obviously the business, mm -hmm. let's talk about your music because I fuck with it. I fuck with it heavy. Tell us the inspiration. Thank you. Uh, so... With music, uh, I started it like my homie was just like, yo, he was like, I had a crazy following. He's like, yo, people love you, do music. And so I was like, all right. I started, that shit was jumping. I went through this little depression phase and like mm -hmm. stopped doing music for like two years. So I just started, I just kind of started back. That's like my first new single, Pink Runs, you know what I'm saying? Pink Runs. And uh, I'm back on it, I'm back on it, you know what I'm saying? And I, that's your first single? So how long have you been rapping collectively? I say 2017. 2017. Mm -hmm. Is that a good four pack? Yeah. Four years into something? Mm hmm. That depression shit, though. We all can relate to that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Everybody go through it, man. It ain't, nothing, it ain't nothing to be ashamed of. You just gotta grab it before it get too bad. You feel me? The thing about it is, I don't even look at it as it's like depression. And it's just that point in your life is like, where people, everybody half, and it's like, do I push forward or I just let life just get the best of me? And it's like, it's like an awakening kind of thing in life. It's like one of them things, like, is you going to like go through this 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 bad stage and let it get the best of you? Is you going to go through this fight through exactly, it and get yeah. past it? Because when you and beat that shit. And it's like, only the strong survive at the end of the day. And when you beat that shit, it's always light at the end of the tunnel. You feel me? You be like, like, I ain't going to lie. Like, I went through the, like a traumatic experience in like 2017, right? And... I was like super like down and out. Like I was down on my dumps for like a year and 
I beat that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit almost got a hold of me. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. it was a point in time where I posted something and it was like, I don't care here no more. You feel me? Like, I didn't want to be around people at all. Mm -hmm. Everybody was just fake to me. I ain't yep. like people. None of that shit. So I was like, I'm done, man. I'm cool. But I ended up, I made it through, man. I made it through. What, what got you through that, though? Because you know it's always a driving force somewhere in there. Honestly, you know I mean? honestly, this is going to sound crazy as shit. For, uh, it was two things. Taking shrooms. Mm -hmm. And moving to DC, and that's taking shrooms. It definitely do it because you know when you taking shrooms, that's when you become more spiritual. You 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 start knowing, and that's the thing about even depression and stuff like that. Because I I it led me to meditation, and you know all right, that right, stuff right. is a form of spirituality and stuff like that. But it leads you to just know that life means more than what we think it means. It don't. What this shit is going on out here, that shit don't mean none nothing. Of, none of that shit means none nothing. None of that shit so, matters. So, like real shit. So, I went through my depression because uh, something happened and I was getting clowned like real bad on social media. Before that happened, everybody was my friend and everybody loved me. So, you know, when you're getting all that love and you see that it wasn't real and you see people you thought loved you turn their back on you, you be like, damn, that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that shit made me not want to be around nobody. You right, feel me? Shit. It made me not be able to be around nobody. You feel me? And I was like, <clears throat> what had happened was... Uh, I moved to D.C. for a year, right? And when I moved to D.C., everybody loved me in D.C., you know what I'm saying? And it was like, damn, all that shit, like, people was bidding off of me in Philly. That shit don't matter nowhere else but in my circle oh, in Philly, like, in, in that little vicinity of people. And that shit helped me. And then I say shrooms because if you take enough, you go on a trip and they it's this shit called ego death. You can kill it. You, I mean, you can Google it. But it basically kills your ego, mm -hmm. who you think you are. You know what I'm saying? I'm Fat Carl. People look at me as Fat Carl. That's my ego. That ain't who we really are. Yeah. You kill your ego, your ego, it's all of us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We just regular humans. We all are the same. same. You know what I'm saying? We look. We got different looks, a little bit different pieces of personality, but we all are the same. We so, stem from the this one thing. We all Just, just think of one thing that just bro broke into all these different things. It just went into all different shells. Thanks. But it all stems from one thing. We all are, from one thing. That's what... From her. From Whoever her. she is, right? Period. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But seriously, Real though. Right. So, I'm just like, man, fuck these people. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Let me get back on track. Let me get my money. Let me take care of this. You know what I'm saying? And I started being around people who I knew genuinely cared, cared about, about me. me. You know what I'm saying? I used to want to... I ain't going to lie. I used to want to fit in. You know what I'm saying? Them people look cool. Everybody Who don't want to fit in with the, it. with the cool kids? You right. know what I'm saying? But and I was know. like, no, fuck y'all niggas. I'm the cool kid. You, you know, know what? what? It's but so they much be space. the ones. It's so much they space. be the ones that go home and cry at night. Yeah, they like, be going through shit. shit. They be going through shit. Like real shit. Even like, myself. Shit. Like, it, was, it was a point in time when myself became a cool kid mm -hmm. and started treating people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nutty. You know what I'm saying? I felt both sides of the fence. So I know how I feel to get treated nutty and I know how, to, how it feels to be the bully. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To be the person treated. And that shit corny. You know what I'm saying? I like people. I love people. You know what I'm saying? saying? I love good people. Mm -hmm. you know Bro, saying? you ever heard of The Hero's Journey? I haven't. So The Hero's Journey is basically like, if you see any movie, let's say Spider-Man, mm -hmm. it start off, oh shit, he get bit by a spider, this world changed. Oh shit, his uncle died. Mm -hmm. Somebody got to die. Something got happened. Something got to crush you, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, exactly. right, right. For you to exactly. be able to come out of your shell and, and start your journey, you got to choose call, the call to action, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I can see that you doing that because, you know, despite whatever had happened in the past, time goes. Life goes on. You just get better and stronger. It's like, let's take a nigga like Joey Jahad. Mm -hmm. If Joey Jahad drops some crazy shit right now, niggas is buying it because yeah. we fuck with him. The music good. Nobody really be thinking about all this other shit all the Eddie time. Hot, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Eddie the talent hot. speaks for talent speaks for so. I ain't letting nothing for shadow nothing. Thanks. Quilly is hot. Quilly is a hot ass rapper. I don't give a fuck how many videos. Da, da, da. His talent, he is a talented motherfucker. Thanks. You feel mm -hmm. I me? Mean? You can't take that from him. Real shit. Bro, you once said Brett Fire has the potential to to, to become the new Drake. Where where is that stem from, bro? That nigga. I'm not really <laughs> hip to this boy yet. You so know. get into him. Feel, feel get in, but I all I can say is get into him. That's about. that's my favorite artist in the world. Oh, like when when I listen to his music, his first album, his first album was me. You feel me? I'm mm -hmm. like, damn, his whole story is my story. You feel me? Everything he's talking about, I understand. Damn. It. And I never in my life, 
her to listen to an artist who I felt that about. You know what I'm saying? So my connection with his music is crazy. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I don't know the nigga at all. Like, I don't know nothing about him, nothing. But I can relate to his music. Yeah, yeah. That shit is fire. That and his creativity is different. And he a Virgo. Virgos uh, is different. Okay. Yeah, okay. Which is Virgo? Oh, yeah, I'm a Virgo. Virgo. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Virgos is different. But the nigga music is so fire. Like mm -hmm. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna tell you this right now. All them other artists got on, they got, they had labels, they got, they had deals and labels and da da da. He is independent, you know what I'm saying? I posted, a, I posted an interview yes, the other day that I watched from him years ago. And he told the story about how, why he went independent, how he went independent. He I said he, he met every major label and they offered him 30%. He Period. said 30% of 100% of the shit I do? Real you got shit. me fucked up. Fuck up. I do this on my way. own. And now the nigga was Grammy nominated. She got money all around me. I, I look like I'm the man. Yeah, that's I know him. That is. That's and, him. Him. and his name. That's him. And his I, I name. Oh, shit. I never knew what his name that's was. His name, him. not even in the song. It say Gold Link featuring Shaw Glizzy. No shit. And he made that song. You feel Bro, me? Bro, they Come did on, him man. dirty because that shit is a They didn't wow. do him dirty. He's still Grammy However, nominated. He still had a big part of that. But and, they, and, I the hook, name, and the hook bro. was supposed to be his verse. What? And and he he laid that he he laid he laid his he laid that first part of his verse and he was like I'm gonna come back and finish it. And he said when he came back to the studio to finish it they already finished the song. You know what I'm saying? I was like, so we speaking on studio shit. How does a normal studio session go for you? Are you like have you freestyle in there, boy? You write the shit down. What's the process? It depends on my mood. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm vicious. I'm vicious right off drugs, boy. Like I, I take an <laughs> Which Addy. One today? I take an Addy. I'm on shrooms or or or, or Exus or an Epo or something. Then my music be crazy. I be I be feeling that shit. Do you but, have to be in a certain setting though? Huh? When you get high? No. Cause I feel like I gotta be high in the car, like. Mm -hmm. The car shit. is a great job. Bro, the on car some is shit a great with the, the music blasting, like I like really feel like I'm in the studio. Y'all really gotta try that shit. That shit like get real. Mm. Other than that, I ain't gonna hold you. If I go to the studio and just get high, I might go in there, and lay down, sleep. It'd be an hour left. I wake up, I lay a hook, and we leave. Yo, that's a vibe, bro. You gotta vlog that type shit. Niggas gotta yeah, see shit. that type shit. Don't care. Hell yeah. Yo, what do you think about like this new style of marketing? Like, for instance, you heard of uh, BDF Pac Man. Yeah. Fat boy with yeah, the donuts yeah, yeah. and honey pack. See how they marketing and shit. Like, you know, marketing the donuts, marketing honey pack. That's the boy with the funny ass song. He had the. You say yeah. all the funny yeah. shit, yeah. bro. He hot as shit, bro. He's hot as shit. And his creativity yeah. is it's, through the roof. I, yeah, I, I love you know what I'm shit. saying? I love like, creativity. He deserve it. You feel me? Like, when you listen to his song, you be cracking the fuck up. That's right. entertainment, you mm -hmm. feel me? At the end of the day, all this shit is to entertain us. And he that's what the fuck he doing. So he deserves everything he gives. We are, I feel like that we are here to entertain our creator. Like, on some real stuff, like, even when they be saying, like, or oh, some people, like, the people that we laugh at and stuff like mm -hmm. that, like, we are naturally made to entertain each other. I don't even want nobody around me that's not entertaining. I don't need no born. I don't want no born people no around me. I need somebody man. that's gonna crack me the fuck up <laughs> and get me out of if I get into some type of real shit. Like, all right, so look, let's get into this barber talk, man. So clearly, your pictures and shit that should speak for itself. The prices speak for itself, but I need to know how did you lock in and be like, yo, I need to make these prices represent my actual work. Honestly, you the first. Honestly, I'm. If you walked in the shop in like 2016, 2017, it'd be 30 niggas sitting in there, you know what I'm saying? And I'm fucking sweating and like niggas is yelling, yo, I got a bean to get in front of him. Yo, I'm next. I got 300. You know what I'm saying? Niggas going crazy. And I'm like, damn, like this shit is good, but I ain't got no control. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't control this shit. So I met I met one of my homies and he, he was a barber too. He sharp. Uh... He he used an app and he put me on the app and I was like, boom, I got control. The technology. Mm -hmm. And then how you raise your prices, supply and demand. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So with supply and demand, the more people want you, you know what I'm saying? Oh shit. If you need if you want access with me, it's gonna cost you more. If I'm not char I'm charging the average price for barbers right now is around fifty, sixty dollars, right? That's average. Yeah, that's probably. average. That's average price around right now. I ain't average. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Like I'm supposed to be. Y'all saying I'm the best, then I'm gonna get the that's best. The best. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Right. Bro, you the only nigga I can see say, "Yo, I'm about to go to Miami. I ain't cutting for two days." Then be like, 
Look, if you need a cut real quick, 300 for today, and niggas like, yeah, I'm in there. What's up? Like, I need that. Like, I'm like, that's Cut. amazing, bro. Man, that's amazing, bro. Thank you. I ain't never seen that. Real shit. Now niggas so is how, charging so $100. How you, so how yeah. did you start off cutting? I started cutting. I got fired from my job, and I was like, ain't nobody ever going to be able to tell me I can't provide for my family. Like, I went through depression. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was like the first time. You know what I'm saying? I was... I lost everything. I was down, like, bad. Like, I had two homies who, like, let me sleep in their houses and shit. You know what I'm saying? Squat. Sleep in their back rooms and all that shit. Like, they were super sturdy. But I had bought my Clippers with my last check. Me and my man had, we was living together. I had a roommate, my man Bray. I was like, yo, if I buy some Clippers, you gonna let me cut your hair? He like, yeah, you gonna let me cut you? I'm like, yeah. We get in the house, I'm like, yo, let me cut your hair. You ain't cut my fucking hair. I like, damn. You gonna make a body's clip. So now I got the clip. Now every day I'm just playing with the clippers, cutting my own hair, <laughs> fucking my mustache up, fucking my beard up. Type I'm just bro. fucking shit up. So I'm like, I'm sitting in the car one day smoking with my man Zell and Hot. Hot got a fro. Hot don't never get no cut. I'm like, why you don't never get no cut? This nigga cheap, you know what I'm saying? Hot cheap, man. He like, I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo. I cut you for seven dollars. Like, we oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> cut him. Boom. Started right there. Damn. You know what I'm saying? That was let, that me you, let me tell you how I let him tat he got I got a permanent tattoo on my leg. Oh, yeah. I let him do truck this practicing tattoo, so I was you always got them friends yeah, that's gonna yeah. be attached. But though. my like, story oh, is crazy. My story of tatting, right? So I'm just in high school. I'm like, what, 17? My man just was like, yo, I just ordered two tat kits, bro. One of them for you. I'm like, say like that, <laughs> kid. Like, do we practice? You know, on people, we just called a bunch of people over to pull up. We ain't had no skills enough, but right. what's in that joint? So, you know. We probably was swapping blood, all types of shit. For nah, them. I knew a little bit, but like, <laughs> See, I, had, I stopped doing tats when all these hood niggas was like, yo, so I need a mansion, right? And yeah. I need a 3D yeah. picture on the back. And I'm like, bro, like, I can't even write a name straight, bro. You're going to want to rumble. <laughs> You're going to want to mix me. But them depression the phases really only be about you ain't, you you, you comfortable. You got to go harder because you mm -hmm. work more. You supposed to be out there getting more. Like, you too comfortable at what you're doing and what you're getting right now. And that's not who you supposed to be at the end of it. Mm -hmm. And that's on some real shit. Yo, you but, watch Versus Battles, bro? Some Method movie. Man vs. Red Man coming up. What y'all fucking with? I wouldn't watch that, bro. You wouldn't Damn, watch nah. that? Damn. Like, I'm you, watching that, John. I'm watching that, that John. No kizzy, but why you wouldn't watch that? I'm just so not you're into not it. Lit. You're not into the music? I'm not into it. I don't it. know. You get high, bro? You might fuck with it. I like some of that shit. Like I know Method Man shit high for sure. That's what I, I was going to say. I was like thinking like M -O -T -F -O -E, man. I like that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? No, that shit was cool. No, nothing but... me and I definitely know a couple of his joints because my mom listens to him all the time in our That's um, like a that's like house. a versus that I will be chilling and like every ten minutes I go peek in there and see what they play. You feel me? <laughs> they I better be with Kisha Cole and Ashanti. Nah, feel me? I was not peeping on that joint. I was on you know what the best joint was? Neo and the boy John Tay. I didn't see that joint. Bro, that shit. Neo was going crazy, bro. bro they had what he was doing. Fire. They fucking, Damn. you didn't even know they wrote these songs, that, like, you know what I'm saying? He had the body out? I forgot, I forgot. See, you know if he going crazy at the body out, he about to do some shit, bro, no cat. So who you listen to, bro, nowadays? What's the vibes? Brent. Facts. Drake. That's number two for you, right? <laughs> That's number two for you. For me. For you. Yeah, for me. You know who had a crazy ass album? Jasmine Sullivan. Hotels is hot and shit. That new joint. That joint is a she banger. Yeah, she snapped on that joint. She definitely snapped on that joint. I'm lacking. I ain't that really shit. been listening to that. You gotta see her shit. do her performance at the Tiny Dust. Yo, she fucked that joint up. Yo. ESTJ. Mm. Hot as shit. You listen to ESTJ? Nah, I don't know who the hell that is. Sound Yo, nice Gotti just signed it. For That's a nice name. ESTJ. He hot as shit. Yeah. I was just. They was there. He, he just, from Memphis? Huh? No, he from Kentucky. Oh, shit. Yeah. My man bring you to the city. That's different. He hot. I was about to say, if he was a Memphis artist, you know it's about to slap. Them niggas going no, crazy in Memphis, Memphis hot. going crazy right now. So you got some new music coming out? What you working on now? Uh, I got a lot of songs. I probably got over 400 songs, y'all. Yeah. I just, I, I got to figure out a rollout of how I want to let shit out. Mm. I don't really know what I want to do. You know you got, I think I'm going to stay on like the... 
stoner type way. Yeah, you, you can make a cold follow him, man. That shit is You got you got let me. I'm like kind of good at like kind of like bringing like you know visuals. You need just like a visual, yeah, just just shit. Then, but he got all the content, so he just trying to figure out how to present it to the world. I don't know. You probably thinking too hard. I People just want content. Yeah. Them. They just want content. Yeah. Man. So package it right, do the right little order. I don't know, bro. If you got more shit like the shit that I heard, I could fuck with that. I, I don't even know who to. I don't even know who to compare shit. it to. You know who Honestly. people always compare me to? McConan, <laughs> Lil Yachty. <laughs> I keep cracking the fuck up. McConan. I don't even know. Who he had a little Lil bot, Yachty but is. I don't know who McConan, McConan is. No, the I don't think he's growing up on the Tuesday. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Nah, nah, I don't think so. See, I just buy local weed. When I listen to your shit, that make me want to go to ATL to get some weed or something. Yeah, <laughs> I just like, said bro, I wasn't like, smoking before the song came on, then I still hit the L. Yeah, like, I'm like, damn, like. Yeah, fuck the restrictions. I just be chilling, man. Go to work. You a new father, though. Tell yeah. us about that. Amazing, bro. Yeah, Best thing bro. in the world, guys. I ain't going to hold you. I be happy. Every day I go home to my son and my girl, I just smile and just be like so proud of myself you feel me like damn like i seen this like i seen this coming up but i didn't know how i was gonna get it and that shit just like warped into being here like <laughs> right. you feel me it's like yo i just was fucked up you feel me that should be blowing my mind sometimes like i wake up like my house is nice as shit yeah, like, bro, this is numbers, yours bro let's go bro, bro. That like shit real shit. It's like you gotta That's go the through the child feeling. translation, then that shit start dropping in your lap like this. Oh. You be just like, you be waking up, like, you be like, how I get this money in my bank account? Dad, where does it come from? Like, oh shit, like, that shit be real. But, bro, would you gonna notice a, your little child, bro? It's like, before I had my son, I had my son when I was 20, so I was a little dickhead. I was like a little weirdo. Mm -hmm. I was wilding out. Had my son, and it just kind of opened, it came, kind of like gave me direction. So I'm like, let me try something for something. Right. It's like it opens you up. It's like it's a little human, bro. Like no cat, they gonna be busting jokes with you. Laughing <laughs> you with fucking you. look just you know like you, bro. Like, <laughs> that, yo, speaking of jeans, your dad he looked like Martin Luther King, bro. So Everybody is that the that. bid or is, is it beneficial? It's, a, it's just a bid. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he, he, a free he, he always say, yo, they better cast me if they shoot a movie. <laughs> yo, bro, bro. <laughs> Shit. Cause I, I would definitely get some pictures of some like yeah twenty dollars get a picture with Martin Luther King niggas dumb and shit they, oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> you can really make a video L A out L A they do shit like that right yeah, bro, right. he could be out there with his suit on like I had a dream or some shit like that no my priority for stunts bro yeah bro I'm like yo I'm gonna get some money like 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 he didn't even run that down. You know what I mean? Like, he, he up here. So, what's next for your Barber Empire? Are you going to take it on the tip? Like, you got employees or, like, you got to no. teach train niggas, like, training camp. I hope niggas. A hundred a pop. I got a class. At a time. I got a class. Every, I, I help people every Monday. Uh, I do one-on-ones for 150. You know what I'm saying? And you could come whenever you want. Like, say, you come this week. You know what I'm saying? Give me 150 to come this week. Take the class, da -da -da. you chilling for a month, you know what I'm saying? Then pop back up, you want to do it again on a Monday, huh? You know what I'm saying? That's good shit. See, so, niggas be thinking, you teach niggas, they're going to take your money. So much money, bro. Yeah. So much money. When you doing it right, niggas, I don't want to hurt nobody, bro. Here. I don't want to hurt nobody. You feel me? You don't I don't want to see people win. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? They be hurting themselves, bro. Yeah. You don't be trying to hurt nobody. <laughs> That's how it be. Is it competitive? Like, do you ever have niggas, like, on a competitive tip? I used to. Barber? I used to. We used to. We used to go at it when I was younger. Bar me and Barbara used to beef and used to always be just like running into each other, ready to fight and shoot and all this weird shit. It always be some weird way shit behind that shit, but not really no more because um, I don't think I allow that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? You want a different yeah, way. You you, 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 you you conduct yourself a certain way, like and you, you put saying? yourself, you place yourself around different people, and right, it's right. like you know. Seriously, because it's always about the company. A lot, of, a lot of stuff do really be about the company you keep. Thanks. Like real shit. All right, so look, man, let's do some plugs. Let's let the niggas know where to find us exactly. You know what I'm saying? So they could contact us for our services. Because niggas gotta get to the back. Start with you, now. You can find me on Instagram at not artistry n y underscore a r t i s t r y. I'm dropping an a p an e p the six six. So be looking out for that. Yeah. And you know where to find me at. Fat Carl at Fat Carl underscore SP on 
Instagram, uh, at Stay Weird Carl on Twitter. Stay real, stay weird, y'all. Get them fresh okay. cuts. Make your baby mom happy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Young boy got prom, make him happy, man. Real rap. If y'all looking for me, you can find me. My rap shit on YouTube, King Kali. If you looking for my YouTube couples channel, Melissa and Kali. Also, we powered by the Big Wolf, man. So that's all we got for y'all. Good show, people.